What is going on everybody? Today we are going to take a look at the Ontario Knife Company, the SP12 Tanto. I don't have extremely high expectations for this knife. I've seen reviews of all the other versions of this knife and there's a lot of controversy of it not being sharp and everything else. But So let's take a look at it and see what we really have. Ontario Knife Company and it's the Spec Plus SP12 Tonto 6 inch blade. Now, I did get this as a this is discontinued and this is a a, a secondary factory second basically. We don't need any of that. Right, let's get that out of the way. So it is a factory blemished second. It doesn't come with obviously a sheath. Oops, that looks like it's why it's probably a factory second right there. Okay, we've got the big thick rubberized handle, which is good. It's not gonna slip out of your hand. Nifty little lanyard if you're into that thing. And yeah, I can already tell that's a nice thing thick piece of blade stock and we got full flat grind we have this also this treatment on this blade too which is you know to prevent it from rusting and everything else it's not a terrible edge I mean it shaves my skin a little bit the tip is very very pointy yeah, I would not say that the edge is terrible, and that's something that I've seen that a lot of guys complained about, was the edge not being sharp enough. You do, when you get really thick blade stock like this, and that's a pretty thick blade stock, you really have to lay the edge back a lot more, especially with it being a flat grind, which is, you know, very far down too. It's not going all the way up, so. But all in all, it's got a nice heft to it too. Nice weight to it. That nice thick blade stock, which obviously goes all the way through the handle, right down to the lanyard. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's got a nice heft to it. You know, I mean, a knife like this is obviously a knife that you are gonna take out camping, maybe even even doing military tasks or or what have you, you know, beating hard, hard activities that are going to take a beating. That's what this knife is made for. This is not to be your little slicey, dicey vegetable knife. This is, this is meant to take a beating out in the field, and I definitely feel as though it would definitely do that very nicely. You've got a nice sharpening twirl there. Yeah, I don't know. I'm pretty surprised. Um, disappointed it didn't come with the sheath. Um, but even though the sheaths that come with most of these fixed blades are junk anyway, they're plastic, what have you, and they're pretty chintzy. So um, I'm getting back into leather working. So um, definitely going to be looking at making hosters for a lot of my fixed blades so I can customize them the way I want them and carry the way I want to carry each individual knife so I can do customization like that but it's nice because it's not going to twist you in the hand you have that nice oval handle the ridges there also help prevent it from sliding around in your hand and yeah I'll tell you what they discontinued this and I, I'm disappointed I don't think they should have I think they should have kept it honestly um, it's a, this is $44 I mean, come on. I mean, for a beater knife to take out, keep in your truck or some pickup truck or something like that, and if you needed it to pry something even, this thing is a beast and would be pretty good for a lot of hard tasks like that. So, yeah, that's just my impressions. I'm actually pretty surprised overall the not by Ontario making a good knife. I think Ontario Knife Company makes a good, good, good knives. Definitely, um, just surprised that they discontinued this. Hopefully, they bring it back. Um, 
you never know. But there you guys go. I hope you enjoyed this video. We will catch you next time. Have a great day.